today we will be discussing another problem on binary search tree that problem is level order traversing of binary search tree so what does that mean level order traversal of binary search tree means we will be traversing each node of binary search tree in a fashion where all the nodes on same level are printed together that means if this is my binary search tree then level order printing will be 11 7 comma 15 comma 3 comma 8 comma 13 comma 17 we are printing level 1 level 2 level 3 these are the levels this is level order traversal of a binary search let's take this tree as an example what we do we first take the root and print it what is the next next step is to print node 7 and after that print node 15 so when we are at 11 we have to keep track what are the next two nodes we have to print and which order so what we can do is like we can maintain an auxiliary data structure a storage which stores the next two nodes or the next level of nodes which are to be printed so 11 has been printed if there is a left child we will store it if it is right child is there then we will store that to onto the data structure and now we will move forward how do we move forward what is the next node we need to print we need to print 7 so we will take this out and put it onto the output after 7 we have to print 15 which is already there into the auxiliary data storage after 15 what we need to print we need to print 3 and 8 so what we will do we will take left child of 7 and store it after 15 and right child of 7 that is 8 and store it up so this has gone now this is our remaining data we will take out 15 and print it this is gone when we are doing that we have to keep track what are the left and right child of 15 into this data structure we will store 13 here and 17 here now we'll take another from the data structure and print it are there any left or right child of 3 no so we'll move forward we'll take the another one and a are there any children there no so we'll move forward We'll take out this print it are there any children no so we'll move forward and we'll print 17 so this is our level order traversal of a tree now what kind of data structure this is if you see we are inserting at the tail and removing from the head or the front what kind of data structure it is yes when we remove from the tail Oh, sorry insert at the tail and remove from the front it is a queue so it is a first in first out data in i'll be assuming while writing the code that queue implementation is already available for details on the queue implementation you can visit my blog algorithmsandme.com and see how queue is implemented so queue, queue implementation is available so these are the functions that are like nq dq and is m these are the three functions which are already available in q api so let's implement the function that is void print level order what will pass will pass the node star root into this function will create a q object or let's say we'll initialize q and initialize so this sets the front rear and all those pointers it initializes the queue for us and we are assuming that queue apis are already available to us we will push our root onto queue so queue dot nq and pass on this queue contains now root while queue is not empty dq and print the value that means so we are getting the pointer first and we are referencing it and printing the value of that first. What else we need to do? We need to push left and right child of that node. So if we should have taken it out here and this would have been. Now if temp left is there, 
then q dot and q temp left we are entering the left side also a temp right is there q dot and q temp right okay we are done these are the three steps you need to follow in order to print the level order traversal of a binary search tree or for that matter binary tree there is another method which can be used to print binary tree into level order and that is the recursive way so let's see how recursively we can print level order traversal of a binary search tree to recursively print what i'll do i'll take the height of the tree first that will give me the number of levels and for each level i will go to each node and if that node falls onto that level i'll print first thing is find the height and for each level how many levels will be there levels will be from 0 to h minus 1 or 1 to h whatever uh, convention we take we will find out find all nodes on that particular level and print what we'll do we'll find the route we'll run a for loop from 0 to h or h minus 1 or 1 to h and recursively traverse each node and find out whether that node has uh, is on the level which we are desired so let's see the code it will be very simple to understand i have void level order i have node star root at me i'll find ht is equals to height of tree that is another tutorial in itself how to find height of a tree let's assume we find out the height of the tree now for i equals to 0 i less than ht i plus plus print level in print level we will pass the root and we will pass the desired level we will implement print level so this is void print level it will take two parameters that is node star root and in level the base condition for this recursive function will be if level equals to zero then we will not do anything we will just print the roots node print f root value if level is not equals to zero then we will recurse a oh sorry if is already there so if level is not equals to zero we will traverse and we will pass print level will pass the root left and will decrement this level by one because we have already traveled one level that means the next step next level should be one less than what is desired and similarly for the right side and this is the function but there is one mistake here and that is that we have not checked anything for if root is none so i'll write this condition here first thing we need to check any in any recursive function for a tree is that root is null then if root is null then just return don't do anything so this is a recursive way to implement now if we see let's say i want to print 11 so i'll pass first i equals to 0 and when i call this function with root level will be always 0 and i'll print root data so i'll end up printing 11 now the second iteration of this for loop will be i will be 1 so i'll come here level is not 0 i'll go there print root left that is 7 and level minus 1 that is 0 so when i come again into this function level is 0 so i'll print root will be now 7 so i'll print 7 i'll go out of this recursion and come here print level root of li right that is 15 and level will be level 1 minus 1 that is 0 so i'll end up uh, i'll call this function level is 0 so i'll print root that is 15 value since i have fallen out of this function i'll go back to this loop now i will be 2 i'll call this with root, uh, root and i equals to 2 this is not 0 i'll call root left that is 7 with 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1 it is not 0 i'll come here again not 0 i'll call print level of 3 and now level minus 1 will be 0 so when i call this function again i'll be printing level equals to 0 so i'll print 3 and similarly for now 8 and 13 and 17 the complexity of algorithm will be o of n multiplied by these many levels that is o of log n 
so overall complexity of this algorithm will be o of n log n while in the previous case we were visiting every node once only and we were not traversing any further so the uh, complexity of the algorithm with using q will be o of n but there is a extra overhead of a space saving which is o of n by 2 or we can call it o of n because at max in the queue there will be like n by 2 elements if a perfectly balanced binary search tree is there it will be n by 2 nodes onto the queue at a time which is proportional or which is, which is in terms of n so the extra space which is required in the previous algorithm will be o of n so based on the space requirement and the space availability we can go for the recursive implementation of the algorithm or we can go for the iterative queue based implementation of the algorithm thank you very much for watching stay tuned